One of the core principles of Mercada is to uh, simplify the workflows one has to take when investigating an incident. And ever since we launched our first cameras back in 2016, there have been numerous iterations uh, with different functions aimed to make the process of finding the right footage as simple as possible. So just for a uh, demonstration, here are the few things that made your life as a Verkada customer easier. From breaking the history down and understanding exactly where people or vehicles have been spotted by just tracking these lines, to drawing a bounding box and getting results related to people, vehicles, or general motion that have been spotted in within that area. These days, with the latest generation cameras, so they would end in a two, you'll also be able to see the tracklet of movement because with this latest Amvarela chipsets, we'll be able to analyze motion much more frequently and then use these tracklets to provide the most optimal image. So when it pops up in command, you know exactly if this is what you are looking for. We have also introduced the ability to search based on color clothing, gender appearance, uh, vehicle type and vehicle color. And this is again, just to narrow down where in investigating if you've been told that, hey, there was a man wearing a red jumper uh, or, or a car that had this particular color, you'll be able to use these models to narrow it down. And the way that this works, as opposed to general motion and people and vehicle categorization that's actually done on the camera is via these hyper zooms, which are crops of image sent in high resolution into AWS for further processing. And then within each of uh, the cameras and within the analytics, this is where you'd turn them on because we do realize that with certain cameras or in certain environments, you might not actually want to track certain things such as, for example, face recognition, license plate detection, and so on. But enough about the past. This is not what I wanted to shoot this video for, but instead to focus on the new ways you can search things through command. And this will be available starting the end of May, that's May 2024, and rolled out in the next couple of weeks or months across our entire customer estate. And hopefully with these tools, you'll be able to simplify your workflows even more. I'll jump in into my own uh, test org and I'll show you that now when you are drawing a bounding box in within the frame, you'll actually be able to specify uh, the number of people and also time in view. So uh, the concept of loitering which was previously used in within alarms as a way to alarm in case something happens will be able to be utilized in the regular search likewise we also bring line crossing so if you're interested for example who's gone through a particular door or show me uh, three people that exited a particular area all you need to do is draw a line uh, define uh, the direction either outbound or inbound and here you'll be able to specify how many people you are looking at. So you'll see he clearly here that the results only show me the things I want. Great. So more tools in your arsenal to help you with your investigation. But that's actually not all because Verkada also launched its first generation of AI powered search. So this is where we are using uh, OpenAI's CLIP model that has a database of more than 2 uh, billion pictures in order to allow you to search for people and vehicles utilizing just normal language. So the way that you'll see this is that in within the search box, you'll be able to, to say, for example, garbage truck today. So by this, you're not only inputting what you want to see, but also parameters when it comes to time itself and the location. So you'll be able to use things such as site names and also camera names to narrow down 
the things you are interested in. And so to speak, these are all the hyper zooms. Again, this technology does use the hyper zooms that are sent to the cloud, but it overlays this uh, AI model on top of it. So every time that there is a person or a vehicle, a hyper zoom is generated and that hyper zoom will be able to be part of these results. Very importantly, is that Verkada has decided to prioritize recall instead of accuracy, meaning that you will get some false positives, but it's very likely that the event you're looking for is in within that list. So we'd rather show you more and allow you to choose the right thing rather than be very, very strict and then miss something that might be important to you. So you'll see here different uh, skips, a couple of garbage trucks coming in. And funny enough, just there's a car parked next to, uh, next to the garbage, right? So you see some garbage bags in the bin in within the hyper zoom. And this is where you can actually uh, flag this and say, not a garbage truck, just a car with garbage in front. It is very important to understand that we are using OpenAI's model, those couple of billion pictures that have already been categorized and tagged. And at no point we're actually using your hyperzooms to train the model unless you submit this form. So at this point, I've submitted this form and hopefully help the AI learn. So the next time it will do better. Other things you can search for, again, these can be anything that's specific to people or vehicles. So show me a person walking a dog will yield different uh, results based on what the cameras have seen. So you can be very creative here, you know, show me a, a post truck, for example, right? So you'll see here, this is a, a next truck delivering probably some, some furniture. You have DPD, you have parcel force, UPS, Royal Mail, you even have like a regular truck again. So remember that this will actually uh, show you more images and make sure that you're not missing anything. But remember that this is moderated. So at no point you'll be able to query using offensive or racist language. Can't use a subjective description of people like I don't show me ugly people or things like that. Or obviously use slurs or inappropriate language. Otherwise, feel free to uh, give this a try. Uh, I really believe that it will help a lot of people to do their investigations in a totally different way and hopefully allow you to uncover things that previously you might not have noticed. And with this in mind, it'd be also very interesting to track Verkada because obviously this is the first iteration. We'll be working internally to make the model more efficient and more capable. And who knows, maybe in one or two years when we'll, I'll do another follow-up video, things would have moved on uh, in the same way that I've moved on previously from all the features that I described initially.